what makes your work Maggie Venn's work? Or your play, Maggie Venn's? My play, uh... It's just such a part of me. I can't... It's such a part of me that when I'm not working a day, I have to get a pencil, something in my hand, and I have to make marks. It's, uh, other people on this floor would tell, say you that, say the same thing, that it's such a part of me, I can't separate it. I cannot separate this work from me. And if there's a quality that's great, and wonderful, feeling, happy, enchanting, that's good, but I don't necessarily want that. I, I don't want that. I want it to be, I want to push it. I want to push it over the edge. And so what if I push it over the edge? If it makes me happy, completely over the edge. I mean, gross. Beautiful this one is, just this rectangle. It's gorgeous. This. These are from uh, garbage room uh, games. I like this one because it's raw. To me, it's raw. It's almost unfinished, but it is finished. I love that one. Now this toothpaste sitting in my laundry room, just right, you know, starting out with pencil, just taking it wherever. It's sculpture up there. It's not yet still lit. That is found object. I found heroes and rolls of Plastic. All right, this is teaching you about size. Uh, I hate to give up these pieces when they sell. I don't like it. <laughs> we were finished, and we were just talking about these two pieces right here: the black and then the lines coming through, which are relatively new. We probably want to shoot those. Okay. Well, yeah, shoot those. Yeah, we'll just go in order. Where do you usually sit and work? Usually right here. Marty, you're uh, you're right. Abstract art, are you thinking about your audience? I mean, are you, do you want the audience to get a story when they look at your art? Or do you do you feel like um, your art is completely for Maggie then? Um, the art that I do is for myself. It's not for an audience. It never has been. Never. Uh, it's for me to experiment to explore the unknown. And I like, I like that aspect of, of abstract is it's experimental. A abstract art is a challenge and it's very intellectual for me. Um, and that's about it. And people say, well, what is 
abstract art. Abstract art is, is many things. It can be many things like art is finding a way home. Art is uh, a glimpse of someone's soul. And it can be just about whatever you bring to it. I love Wabi Sabi. To me, it's a, it's a beginning and ending of something. Like the beginning of paintings, my paintings I love because it's not polished. And if I'm up, up there get, getting going, I love that part because it's not polished. And that to me is Wabi Sabi. It's the beginning of something. It's also the ending of something where there's decay. And I love that. I love that too. And when I first moved to Racine from the East Coast, I said, oh my God, the texture of this town. It's crazy. It's crazy. There's so much of it. And so I was eating that up. I was absorbing that. And at one time, the first years here, my art, reflected that. It was monochromatic, it was textural, and that was fine. It made me happy. It's not sacred. I don't know. Sacred is a uh, something that you put on a pedestal, I guess, and art shouldn't be that way. How does that influence how you create art? Uh, I do a lot of slashing. I do a lot of erasing, painting over, and I love those accidents. Um, that's about it. And I like uh, the rawness of some of some of my work when I ignore it, just ignore it. Hey, if I if I'm painting and there's a beautiful passage, I'll get rid of it if it doesn't work as a whole. You know, no sweat. It was beautiful, so what? If it's not part of the the whole, I don't I don't keep it. What I used to do when I worked on small cards and putting them together as a whole, I would work very fast, not caring what I put down. And I'd put a, use different colors, maybe a family of colors, and then see what happens. But that's that was when I'm making small to create a big thing all together like like even that one piece, I had 112 works of art on that wall, and it created a whole. Each of those pieces were done individually, but it worked. It, uh, there were similarities, things like that. I let the accidents happen, but you can also make them happen. Go ahead and make bad marks. You know, you can end up making something gorgeous with it. Make bad marks, do a bad composition, and then work from there. I mean, start with what you know, and then take it to the edge. That's what I like to do. I hope my hands are not in the picture.